Well, Danny, thank you so much for that uh, very warm welcome and introduction. And it's really exciting to be at the first inaugural One Million Cups event. So I appreciate the opportunity to be here and to share my story and a little bit about Bloom.com with everybody here. So we'll go ahead and jump into the world of beauty. Uh, Bloom.com is a social beauty network. Uh, I thought it'd be great to just really start off and tell you a little bit about beauty. Uh, this amazing massive industry, it's a $60 billion industry in the United States. Uh, there's over 2,000 plus beauty brands, there's a million and a half beauty professionals, hairstylists, makeup artists, uh, there's bloggers and there's umpteen magazines that are dedicated to this category, there's retailers, whether they be uh, online retailers or Nordstrom's of the world. Um, it's just a massive category. And so one of the reasons why I started Bloom.com was because it's an overwhelming experience for a woman to try to keep up on all these amazing trends and products. How are we really to know what to do? Because there's this overflow of information happening. And then you layer in the other social networks. So beauty is one of the most talked about categories on all social networks. Uh, but when you go to these social networks, one of the things that we found was sometimes it's really difficult to actually find what you're looking for. You often see things more like this. You see your, what's, what people are cooking on Pinterest and you often get distracted. And, but often you, you might find a look that you're interested in, something that inspires you uh, as you're looking to, for maybe a new hairdo or a new makeup look. But when you see those looks, it really leaves you hanging when you go to these other social networks. It doesn't really connect the dots. And so because beauty is so massive and there's so many different parties and there's so many people interested, it just made sense to bring it all together at one place called the Social Beauty Network of Bloom.com. And so Bloom's mission is to help people discover the hottest trends, products, and professionals. Bloom is, we have these inspiring photos and videos that are come into Bloom uh, every day. And one thing that makes us unique is that we categorize all the content coming in. So it's very easy to find hair, makeup, eyes, very specific. You can see hot trends uh, that are coming in every day. So if you want to keep up to date, you can find it here. We curate all the content coming in um, and make, it very, make sure that it's high quality. You're not going to get see on Bloom a lot of the bathroom selfies that you'll see on other networks. We really want to make sure. I learned something the other day. It's called the duck face, I think, when you do this. So you're not going to see a lot of that on Bloom because we do curate the content that comes in. Um, and so here's what happens when you find a look at Bloom. So you find this, you might see this amazing photo on Instagram or Pinterest. But then you leave you hanging. What Bloom does is we connect the dots. So you see this amazing look. We allow the products to be tagged to the looks that are created. And so we have a database of over 60,000 products that the users can tag uh, the products that they actually use. To and then what we do is you can, if you're interested in that product, you can click on it. And then we will connect you to, to purchase that product. Um, you seamlessly on our app, you can be connected with uh, online retailer, beauty.com, Nordstrom.com, Sephora, to actually purchase that product. So it's about connecting the dots for us at Bloom in a new way. Um, another example is, again, mostly probably women in the room, maybe some men, but let's say you were looking for a, an updo or a spe for a special occasion. How do you know where in town to maybe go to find that updo? At Bloom, you can come and you will soon be able to search by location. In this example, Manhattan, and you're saying, I would like to have a, who could provide me with a service to get an updo? You, if you said, wow, I love this particular look, you can click on it and you can be connected to the service provider uh, and go ahead and get that um, service done in your local area. So really connecting the dots between for consumers to find out how to, what are the trends, what products can I use to get the look, and how do I actually uh, connect with a service provider to actually achieve that look. So pulling that all together, um, it, it's complicated. And we, we have to work with the brands, and we work with professionals, and we have the consumers coming. And so really creating this social media network um, it is an enormous undertaking. And what's really, what we found, I think, is most exciting to me about this category is that it's all interconnected. So the consumers want to have access to the brands and the products. The consumers want to access the professionals. 
brands, obviously, they want to connect with professionals. They want to be educating consumers. They want to be educating professionals. Uh, we also learned about a new market with the schools, the beauty schools that are going on and the students coming out. Uh, there's a real microcosm in this beauty industry that we're trying to connect at Bloom. So our initial approach when we started, we thought, and again, with my background being in e-commerce, um, we really took a very consumer-focused approach when we were going to start the network. So really getting the, getting the party started, you know, creating a social network is a daunting task. Um, and so we really went after consumers. And Danny kind of asked me to share this with you because we, we have made a shift in our business over the last couple of years. And so we really did start out, Danny mentioned it was a store, uh, but you know, we we're always a social beauty network, but we did focus on uh, actually connecting consumers to products and we actually wanted to be involved in that transaction. Uh, we had a, a many challenges when we first started uh, taking that approach. Uh, you know, number one is, Obviously, to, to really have that inspiration, we needed the content. So how do you get professionals there or people there creating this amazing content? It also required us to work directly with a large number of brands. Um, and probably most importantly, it took a large capital investment. Uh, we were actually inventorying product, fulfilling product. Um, and then, as you all probably are aware, going after cu customers uh, on a national basis uh, is, is very costly. Uh, so we worked on this approach for quite a while, but we, we learned something while we were doing this, and I think this is probably one of the most instructive lessons I'd like to pass along, is we were learning from our customers. We were learning, getting feedback from what was happening at Bloom and watching what activity was going on, and we found that the professionals that were coming to Bloom, the people that were actually uploading the best content, were hairstylists, were makeup artists. And we, we started having conversations with them and interacting with them. We learned that they were using Bloom as, as their portfolio, as a digital portfolio. They were loading their photos and they were putting them into lookbooks and they were sharing those with their clients and they were using the Bloom inspiration pages to inspire their clients in the chair. Uh, so, you know, we were like, wow, that's, that's amazing. We didn't realize that there really isn't a place for beauty professionals to call their own. And the beauty professionals themselves is a really interesting group. There's a million and a half beauty professionals in the country. Uh, they don't typically have their own websites. They don't even typically always take photos of their work like other home designers and architects. Those people have portfolios that they use on a daily basis to sell their business, where beauty professionals weren't doing this. And so Bloom was becoming this place where they were actually having a, a business tool and a career building tool. And so we turned our focus to creating a platform that would help serve this, this group. And it really, really shows that if you can get something working on a very small level, um, that, <laughs> that you can grow from there. Because as we work with the professionals, brands are very interested in communicating and working with the professionals. And also, if we've got the professionals, the average professional has over 200 clients and they're sharing Bloom with their clients, follow me on Bloom. And so we are going to, we're getting the customers with the route of working through the professionals. This is an example of our platform for uh, beauty professionals. It's a, where they have their lookbooks stored, they have digital resumes, etc. cetera. Um, again, this is as the professionals are loading photos, they're tagging the products they're using. And so you can see how valuable that is for the brands all these looks have been tagged to this product. So you can see how we really bring a brand's product to life through visual inspiration. Again, with consumers, we're constantly connecting the dots. They see the look they love. We connect them to uh, where they can actually purchase the product both online and locally. Um, you know, social networks, one of their main challenges typically is how are we gonna monetize the network? Um, so the great thing about where we've gone is that we've actually created a product for schools, beauty schools and students, where we are monetizing that part of the channel. Beauty schools today are putting Bloom in their curriculum. So we're taking a whole new generation of beauty professionals that are in school. There's over 150,000 new beauty students who graduate every year. We're currently working with over 100 beauty schools that have Bloom as a part of their curriculum. So it's really to educate this whole new generation of stylists to use Bloom. Uh, we also have a freemium uh, model for professionals, so as the students graduate and become professionals, they can upgrade to services, and we have an offering right now 
for professionals to uh, upgrade to a, a premium membership at Bloom. And in the future, obviously, we, as our consumers' numbers grow and as our professionals grow, we think there's amazing opportunities to uh, monetize the brands. And then ultimately, there'll be a piece with consumers. <laughs> I'll let you do this slide and then I'll cut you off. I'm going to give you a little more time than our regular I need a clock up here. So, uh, again, the future of Bloom. You know, we really hope to, to be a part of every Beauty Pros toolbox in the future. We hope that when next time you go to get your hair cut uh, or your makeup done, that they pull out their phone and capture your look and upload it to their digital pro portfolio. Again, we want to be the place where consume beauty consumers think about when they want inspiration, when they want to know where to buy their next beauty product, um, and we want to continue to expand globally. So, Thank you for letting me share about Bloom, and I look forward to your questions. <laughs>